Cameraman here, folks. Quick story time. Another assault case me and uh, Stuntman got involved in. Well, this is long time ago, okay? There was this guy that used to live next door to us. Let's put it this way. It was so long ago, there's, his house isn't there anymore. Somebody built another house in its place. A long time ago. Anyway, me and Stuntman, you know, we're, one day we're in front of the house where my father, where we grew up, my father's house. And I see in the window next door is a camera. And it's aiming right at where we are. We're working on cars, fucking around, doing whatever. Our friends will come by. We bullshit. And fucking camera's aiming right at us out the window. So I'm like, what the fuck is this shit, man? So I know the guy that owned the house, right? His name was Eric. The Chinese guy. There's nothing against race, Chinese people, whatever. I, I'm friends with everybody. I know a ton of Chinese people. And I was very cool with this guy, too. So I'm like, what the fuck, man? So... I have his number because we had each other's number in case some shit went down at our houses. We call each other, you know? So I call him up. I'm like, yo, yo, Eric, man, come here. I got a problem. He comes racing over. What? What's going on? What's going on? I said, why the fuck do you have a camera aiming on me like all day when I'm here? You know I'm here all day long. What's the fucking problem? I wasn't doing anything illegal or nothing. It's just, you don't want that. Who the fuck wants that shit, you know? He's like, oh, uh, okay, I move it, I move it. I said, all right, no problem. So I go to my father, I go, yo, what's up with the fucking camera, man? He goes, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's going on. What do you mean you don't know what's going on? All right. So the next day, the camera's not moved. I said, Eric, what's up with the cameras? He said, I'll be right there. He comes over. He says, your father, he's moved my garbage can. He moved my pail and he touched other, my garbage pail and I put the camera as to, I go, what? So him and my father got this beef over the garbage cans. I said, Eric, that has nothing to do with me. I said, you and my father could fight all you want. I don't care. I don't need to be on camera all day. It's fucking annoying. It really, it's annoying. Would you want it? No, I understand. I move it. It's okay. I move it. Okay. Next day I come in, it's moved a millimeter. Me and stuntman look at each other. We're not happy. Hey, listen, we were a lot younger. We were a lot fucking wilder. And this guy was not much older than me. You know, he was probably, whatever, in his 40s. I was in my 20s. So I, to I tell stuntman, let's go talk to this motherfucker. He doesn't want to fucking pay attention. Yeah, we got to talk to him. So we go over to his house. He had another house. So he was renting this house. So we shoot over to his other house, maybe like six, seven blocks away. Knock on the door. Boom, 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 boom. Eric comes out, right? Now, I'm kind of down by the front, standing by my car. Stuntman goes up to the door. And he comes out, the guy like a man. Why are you at my house? Why? Why are you at my house? He starts trying to do some karate shit. Now, it's early in the morning, right? Stuntman's got a fucking blazing hot coffee. He fucking bashes him. Boom! Right over his fucking face. The thing explodes. Fucking coffee all over the guy, right? He starts swinging. Stuntman fucking cracks him a few times. The guy fucking runs into his house to go get something. Tries to come out. Stuntman smashing the fucking screen door on him. Boom! Boom! I'm just standing there like this. You know, if, if I have to step in, I'm there. You know what I mean? Fuck. I go, yo, 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 yo. I go, guys, enough. Let's get the fuck out of here. So we leave. So... A day goes by, I don't hear shit. Two days goes by, I don't hear shit. Next thing you know, I'm by myself. I'm outside my father's house, I'm fucking around with a car. Boom. Guy pulls up, throws his car in park. Doors whip open. Boom, boom. These two fucking monsters come out. Detectives. Say my name. I'm like, yeah, that's me. What's up? Uh, it's behind your back. You're under arrest. I go, you gotta be fucking kidding me. So, I'm like, and what is this for, you know? Because who the fuck knows where it could be coming from, you know? Uh, we'll tell you, we'll tell you when we get down there. So, they're looking in the rearview mirror, I'm in the back cuffed. Where's your brother? I go, I don't know where he is. Hold on one second. Yeah, so the cop's like, where's your brother? I'm like, I don't know where he is. The fuck do I know? I'm not his babysitter, you know? I said, Look, don't be a smart ass. I'm like, no, I'm not being a smart. I don't know where he is. So he goes, uh, what do you know about Eric? You know, 
Eric, what, what, what about him? He goes, suppose you and your brother beat the shit out of him. I go, beat the shit out of him? If I beat the shit out of him, be in the fucking hospital right now. Well, yeah, he went to the hospital. I go, wow, wow. I said, this fucking rat cocksucker is going to fucking start with me. Okay, I go to his house. He's going to pull some karate moves, catch himself a little fucking beaten, and then he's going to rat on top of it all? Now, this is the fucking 90s, no less. The late 90s. You're going to fucking rat? You motherfucker. Ratting wasn't even the fucking style back then, you know? I said, this cocksucker, man. He goes, well, your first mistake was going to his fucking house. I go, oh, okay. He goes, your second mistake, you didn't wear a ski mask. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is real fucking funny to you guys, but I'm the one getting fucking assault charges over here. So... Make a long story short, they tell me, tell Stuntman to have his lawyer call them. They fucking block me up. I go in the cage. I'm fucking taking my mug shot, all this bullshit. They charge me with assault. And um, assault and, and what the fuck, aggravated harassment because we called the guy some bullshit. We didn't fucking, I didn't even call the guy like a dick, you know? He just called him to say, you know what, let's fucking straighten it out or whatever. He was recording me. Maybe the, my words were a little harsher than they should have been, you know? And, um, so now they lock up fucking stuntman, okay? He gets locked up the next day. Now we gotta go to fucking court. This motherfucker is insisting that we do fucking 90 days each. I'm like, what the fuck are you fucking kidding me, you jackass? You fucking troublemaking jackass. I go straighten it out, and now you're gonna fucking want me to do 90 days? Now me and stuntman run the fucking business. We can't be down for 90 days. That's fucking suicide. You know, we would have to cut some kind of deal. I do 90, he does 90 or whatever. 90 days in the fucking city ends up being 30. It's bullshit. But still, fuck you. Long story short, we go to court once. We go to court twice. And the guy kind of came to his senses that it wasn't in his best interest to fucking pursue it because you, know, you look like a fucking rat. You look like a fucking jerk off. And you know what? In that neighborhood, you don't want to look like a fucking rat. You don't want to be known as a fucking rat. So he didn't he didn't fucking push it and pursue it. And me and Stuntman, this was the funny part. After going to court for months and months and months, they give us anger management. Oh my god. First day of fucking anger management. I go in there, right? Now you gotta pay for anger management. You got all these fucking kids in there that can't afford it. The system's not fair. Me, I peeled the fucking money off a roll, off a fucking wad. You got these kids coming in there that don't have any fucking money. Nothing. Their parents don't have money. They can't fucking afford to be doing anger management, right? And they're pissed off. And I'm talking to them going, guys, you know, just do your fucking thing, man. You, you know, this guy, this guy, I said, reports back to the judge. I said, you don't do the right thing. You fucking, you go to jail. You understand? So they give us the anger management, be good for a year, bullshit, you know? And what happens is, my first day, I go in there, right? The guy goes, he's a Spanish guy, but a nice guy. He's like, you know, you can't just hit people. He goes, what if you hit him and he fell and hit his head on the curb and he died? I said, then I have a big problem, you know? And he's like, how does that make you feel? I said, I don't know. All right, I won't hit anybody. And what do you want me to do? He goes, now... How have you been feeling? Have you had any anger? I said, it's making me angry that I got to be here and I got to peel off money to give to you to do this anger management course. And I got to do this for fucking 10 weeks every week. I got to stop, shut my business down and come down here. This is ridiculous. He's like, okay, I'm not going to tell that to the judge, but I could understand you're angry. Anyway, it, it, it was another fucking experience. But it was a pisser. Every week we'd go there. Kids were fucking not showing up. Kids were acting up. Kids were... They're blowing it for themselves I'm just like What the I felt like I was in fucking high school man. I'm like this is, where, this is where I always was In trouble in high school But long story short We did our fucking anger management We probably didn't get arrested For a couple of years But another assault came down the pipe It was inevitable Because people just want to fuck with you And shit happens you know But anyway yeah This cocksucker He's since fucking sold the house He sold Believe me He knew he needed to get the fuck out of the neighborhood He sold the house and sold it to some guy, and I'm glad because he sold it short, and the fucking prices went through the roof right after he sold it. He probably lost fucking $500,000. Fuck him!
that motherfucker. You're going to fucking start with me. I go to talk to you. You're going to fucking pull karate moves. And you're going to have to get a coffee smashed over your fucking face that you deserve. Thank God I didn't fucking jump in there and start kicking the shit out of this fucking guy too. He's fucking lucky. It was the luckiest day of his fucking life. And, and also he had a camera. <laughs> it was fucked up. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Another fucking day minding my business and some bullshit comes my way.